Hello and welcome to another Digimedia Pros tutorial. I'm your host Marcelo Lewin. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new Face Aware Liquify feature inside of Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.5 and later versions. Okay, so here we are. I have two photographs open. One is of my wife and the other is of my two kids with my mom. Now I'm going to go back to the photo of my wife, which I named one face because there's only one face in this photo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layers panel. I'm going to double click and turn it into a layer. I'm going to call it one face for now. Then I'm going to make sure that the rectangular marquee tool is selected. You can click on it in the toolbar or just select the M key. Then I'm going to right click on the photo itself and I'm going to say convert to smart object. This will make it easy to turn on and off the liquify effect. Now I'm going to go into filter and then I'm going to go to liquify. This brings up a new liquify panel that has faces selected. On the left you see the toolbar. The face tool is already selected and there is a letter A which allows you to select that face tool. On the right you'll see a properties panel and you'll see starting from the top a variety of properties but the ones we want to focus on are the face aware liquify properties so you can twirl that open. At the top you see that it says face one select face. Right now it's only one face. Later on you'll see when I load the photo with three faces, you'll see what happens. Now each section is broken down into the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the face shape. So you can twirl those open and see that there's a variety of properties you can change. So for example, I can change the size of the eye and you'll see what happens to the eyes. As I go to the left, they get a little bit smaller and a little larger as I go to the right. Now the key to using this tool is if you're not changing a photo to be more of a caricature, if you're just adjusting, the key here is to do small incremental changes. So I want to make the left eye, from our perspective, her right eye, just a tinsy bit smaller to match kind of the right eye or her left eye. So there you go. That kind of makes it a little bit better than it was before. So if I put it back to zero, you'll see that her left eye is just a tinsy bit bigger. You know, we all have that in our eyes. So we'll go ahead and adjust it. Now you can also adjust the height of the eye, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust that. Now notice one thing that I'm not adjusting the left eye only, it's actually adjusting both and that's why you want to make small incremental changes here. You can change the width, with, but the width I'm going to leave it as it is. You can also change the tilt, which I'm going to leave it as it is, and the same with the eye distance. You can make them come closer or farther apart. In this case I'm going to, eh, I adjusted it just a little bit. So now I've got the eyes done. Um, the other thing I was thinking of adjusting was the chin height and the jawline and the face width. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the width just a little bit. And I'm doing this, even though she's beautiful already, I'm doing it to show you the before and after later on. Now since I adjusted the width of the face, I'm also going to adjust a little bit of the height of the chin. So if we move it, you can see it's very tiny incremental moves. The same thing with the jawline. I'm going to make it just a tinsy bit on the thinner side. There you go. And I'm kind of happy with that. Now even though we've controlled many properties through the property panels, you can also put your mouse over each facial feature. For example, the eyes, the actual face. And you can see if you leave your mouse over it, it'll say forehead. It'll say chin height, jawline. And if you adjust any of these, it'll automatically adjust your properties panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all of these twirls. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust the nose and I want you to see what happens to the property panel. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the nose height. So I just adjusted it and you can see that it actually opened and you can see what it adjusted. So I can bring it back to way, the way it was. Now one final thing is because you do have the ability to use the facial tool, there's one thing you can do with the face tool that you cannot do in the properties panel and that's when you put your mouse over the cheeks you can see there's a move and you can actually move the cheek and you can move each cheek separate. So I can do, so you can see right here, I'm adjusting the left cheek from our perspective, her right cheek. Uh, you can do the same thing with the nose. So you can move it up or down. And also you can move each eye separately. So I can move this one up and this one down. Now, of course, I want to go ahead and undo that. And the way you undo any changes you've made is by hitting command option Z multiple times. That's multiple undo. Now once I've made all these changes, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And you already saw the change right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the Smart Filter 
display visibility icon here to turn it off and you can see that was before and this is after that was before and this is after so you can see the changes now if you want to get back into it all you have to do is double click the liquify it'll bring you back to the changes you've made before i'm going to go ahead and hit cancel so now we're going to switch to the photo of three faces so i'm going to go there and now i'm going to go ahead and double click the layer convert it to a layer i'm going to go ahead and right click and make sure I convert it to a smart object. Then I'm gonna to go to filter and then click liquify here or here it shows it already because I've used it before, but I'm gonna click on here. Now it brings it up. Now I'm not gonna go through everything again because it's the same thing for each face, but you can see it detected three faces. And then basically this is face one, face two, face three. So you can select which face you wanna work with and make changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and select face three. And you can see I'm making, let's see, we'll make the forehead taller, the face, there you go. So you can see I've changed it. Now I'm going to go to face one, which is my other son, and I'm going to select the mouth, and I'm going to make him really smile because he doesn't like to smile usually in photos. So there you go. I, I made that change. And then I'm going to go to face number two, which is my mom in the middle, and I'm going to make her smile. Now you can reset each face separately by selecting the face and clicking on reset and you can see my mom right here I'm gonna click on reset and it reset her now you can go through each face and click on reset or if you want to reset all the changes in the faces just click on all and that resets everything as you can see the new face aware liquify feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.5 is extremely cool and powerful to use remember not to overuse it or to make really radical changes because it will distort your photo quite a bit unless that's the look you're going for I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please remember to check out more of our tutorials videos podcasts and articles at digimediapros.com so until the next tutorial I'm your host Marcelo Lewin cheers everyone